सो हेलो गाइज दिस सत्य अगेन फ्रॉम टीम साइबर समुराइज फॉर आर प्रोजेक्ट थ्री यूर आज टू मेक अ स्टोरी बुक वेबसाइट विद एनिमेशन एंड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो विद डिसाइड टू मेक अ हॉर कॉमिक वेबसाइट एज यू कैन सी दिस वेबसाइट दिस द फ्रंट पेज ऑफ द वेबसाइट विद द टाइटल ऑन इट विजल बी केयरफुल समन इज ऑलवेज लिसनिंग दिस वेबसाइट इज ऑल्सो हैव बैकग्राउंड म्यूजिक टॉप लेफ्ट कॉर्नर हैज अ म्यूजिक आईकॉन वेन वी क्लिक ऑन इट द म्यूजिक बैकग्राउंड साउंड विल प्ले So yeah, that was the background sound, or uh, and the rest of the website. This is the basic intro of the website. Some description written. As you can the as you can see the title and this text is animated text. So moving to the website, as you can see this has the scroll animations. Go, it appears from the left. So yeah, this is the website has the scroll animations. I'll show you in a second how we did this. So that was the horror comic website. Home button directs to the top of the page and also we added this post animation so let's just move right into it and yeah we also made our custom scroll bar as you can see and when we hover over it it changes into orange and i'll show that in the code so let's just start create a folder i'll just name it horror comic horror dash comic open the visual studio code click on open folder and select the folder which you have created now Horror comic, yeah. So create the index dot html file. So yeah, once again, this is not a tutorial. I'll just I'll be just showing you how I did this. So I'll just copy the styling and the photos files from the original file. Uh, as you can see, I also have the JavaScript file which we'll link it later. So yeah, this is everything. This is JavaScript file. This contains the two CSS files. And this media files has all the comics and the sound image and the video and the sound in it. So let's just open the code again. So first we'll do is the we'll make this uh, front page of the website as you can see the video video animation and the animated text, and this music icon and the scroll bar. So let's just do it. Actually before that I'll just show you how we did the custom uh, scroll bar. So we'll just do the first. We'll do that. I'll just create a style element in the header section itself for the convenience. Uh, so in order to make the custom scroll bar, we'll use this property known as WebKit. So WebKit. So yeah, select this WebKit scroll bar. I'll put the width as something 10 pixels, and uh, again we'll select the WebKit scroll bar thumb. And I'll put a linear gradient color for it background. And I'll put the border radius around six pixels, as it'll be a little bit cylindrical. And I'll also add a hover effect, so I'll put the transition property in it. So when we hover, it will have a smooth transition. So 0 0.15 seconds. So I'll just select this again, and I'll put hover, and I'll put the when we hover, I want the scroll bar color to change into orange. So I'll just put this in it. So over over element contains and over it will change into orange color. So let's just look at the output. Actually, yeah, it will it won't show the scroll bar exactly because this is just a single you no, know, this doesn't have any content. So when we'll add the content, it will show the scroll bar. So let's just add some content. So what we'll first do is we'll add this video, video section of the page. So in this body, I'll just copy the video section of the page so uh, before that i'll just link all the css files for it so uh, these are the all the links for the fonts and everything else and this the links for the css files so i'll just add the video section uh, before that i'll just put the background color as in the body this is known as inherent property which we can customize the which will style the website using within the tabs so i'll just put background color oh Actually, uh, I forgot to put style in it. Yeah, background color black. As you can see, it has turned into black. So let's first just add the video section for it. As you can see, I've added the video section. I've created a section tag, named it class uh, video section, and I've created another division in it, background video. And it's the video tag, which I've linked the source for it. 
or uh, in this media as you can see it has this is the video next in the divisional element i have created an android division element known as landing video content below it video landing content it has the title subtitle and this is the audio and it has the on load data set half volume as when we click the background music will play so let's just look at the output as you can see we have done the top page of the website actually the music won't work because we have not uh, linked the javascript file we'll do it at the last so after this we'll just add this basic de description of the website so it's just right after the section tab so this is the division element which i've added the short description of the website actually uh, before moving next i'll just explain the css what i have did in the css file for the top page which, I, which is the video section so i'll just open the video section this is the as you can see i've written a comment video section with 100 percent height 100 vh and the position is relative this is the star selector which will select all the elements so as you can see in is zero padding is zero box sizing is border box and the font family i've used is family gen grotesque sans serif and the another font family known as a roboto <coughs> and all the section tags has the display bo block in it and is the css for the background video as you can see the position also relative and the z index z index is the property to decide what elements should appear as you can see the z index is minus one it will below it will be below the all the contents of the website and the uh, division selector is display block and the video content which i have put the video is object fit content it will be contained inside the divisional and the overflow is clip sometimes the or the video it won't fit inside the division so i've just add the property overflow clip and it will clip the end in, in within the division and this is the video landing content with this 100 percent position is absolute and the z index is one it will appear above the video and it's the video landing content for the subtitle and it's the animation for the animated text as you can see using keyframes flickering when it's at zero zero percent the color will be red color and when the text will be at 10 percent of the animation it will have a text shadow of white color and it will be transformed within the division element as you can see at 15 percent it will rotate a bit to the minus 15 degrees at 15 percent will rotate it minus 15 degrees and also same as for all the percentages of the animation so let's just look at the website i have i've added the short description at the website you can see the scroll bar is now appearing so what we'll add next is all the comic section in the website so i'll just add the comic section in the website which is just below this division last division as you can see i've added the comic sections i've created a division element within it it has another container which is also a division element also used all inherent properties which have styled each and every comic strip as you can see margin left 130 pixels margin left 830 pixels third comic as margin and so on for all the comics and for the uh, i have and i've put the image tag in it to link the comic picture so let's just look at the so as you can see and it doesn't have the animation in, uh, scroll animation in not yet because we'll be adding the javascript file at the last yeah the scroll bar when we over it it changes to orange color lastly we'll add this animated ghost which is just above this comic section that it right as you can see i've added the ghost container and within it this this spooky id and this is the body eyes mouth and feet and i'll just show you the css for it as you can see the body is overflow clip as once again, the, for example, animation will sometimes come out of, out of the divisional box. So we have to use the overflow clip to contain it within the division. This is the CSS file for the ID ghost container with 400 pixels, height 400 pixels, margin top minus 1350 from the top. As you can see, this is the CSS for it. You can feel free to pause and understand the code, code I have written in this CSS section. Again, we have used the keyframes at 0% and 100% it will transform it will translate along the y-axis at 50% it will translate towards minus 20 pixels on the y-axis and the animation name is zoomy let's just look at the output as you can see i've added the animated ghost yeah and also the home i'll just change the color of the home to white color 
let's just look at the code right now index html let's add the color white uh, as you can see the color is home of the color of the home text is white and when we click on it it will direct to the top of the page right now we'll add the music icon we'll add the audio to the music icon for that we have to create the script tag which will link the javascript file first we'll check whether we have linked the audio or not uh, yes as you can see i have linked the audio source media audio one so i'll just add, make a script tag just a second source dot index.js so we have linked the index.js file so js file as you can see i have used on off document and we have used the query selector which is container dot tile music on and i have created the function and i have called the function right here as you can see on off click when we click on the button it will play the song and when we click on the button again it will pause let's just look at the output and let's just check the background sound yeah as you can see look at the taskbar the sound is playing and you can hear it also yeah so let's just look at the scroll animation which i've added as you can see in the original website when we scroll it will translate from from the left what i've did is in the divisional which i have added all the comic i have created i have put them inside division known as hidden so basically this co comics are all hidden and when we scroll down the image will appear from the left so for that we have we have to again style in the css i'll just put in again in the header between the style tags for convenience we'll select the hidden is inside the web kit we'll select hidden within the hidden i've add i'll add just copy the page the all the properties capacity is zero which is not which is just a visibility the filter is blur to five pixels and the transformation is translate x sorry i was, I was earlier i was seeing along the y-axis it's the x-axis as you can see minus 100 it will appear from left side left side along the x-axis and the transition is one second also i'll just at the show when we hover it will turn opacity is one the filter is blur zero and the transform is translate x-axis so when it's hidden it is hidden completely as you can see minus 100 percent which is just uh, we can indicate that it, it is hidden completely and when we when we scroll down as you can see the transform property is translate x zero which is when we scroll it will hover it to the it will translate along the x-axis to its original position which is just zero index section as you can see we have used the observer function which is the intersection observer which is just that when we scroll when we are scrolling above some section we it can target a specific content for example when we are scrolling down then the scroll animations will appear as you can see i have used the for each loop i have also used the if else conditions if if entry is intersecting which means when i am hovering over it the entry target which is exactly i am targeting the class list it will show which means I, when i am scrolling it is intersecting it will show the content or else it will not show it will just remove and i have called the function here so let's just save it and look at the website right now the original website and this is the website which i have created right now as you can see this has all the scroll animations as you can see when we are scrolling as yes, it is coming from the left side along the x-axis as you can see so this is it it's the website we have created we'll just check the sound once again as you can see this is playing the icon is showing on the taskbar let's just compare it to the original website as you can see this is the original website and the, this is the website we have created right now so that was our project 3 a horror comic so thanks for watching if you have any doubts just comment i'll just reply to it so thanks for watching